Good morning, good morning. This is Mr. Pasker here to give you a quick tutorial on Class Dojo. Uh, Tasha and I were talking about PDIS and we were talking about the boards that we have in our rooms. And um, I brought up the, the idea of Class Dojo and incorporating Class Dojo into the PBIS system. Um, Class Dojo is a system for behavior modification. Uh, I used it at my last school I was at, uh, Nexus Academy. Uh, and we used it to give the students positive reinforcement as well as negative reinforcement. Um, so it really it gamifies the, the behavioral process and it also gives you a way to connect with the parents so the parents can log in and see what their student has been doing for the day. So I'll take you through it very briefly here. Let's check it out. Just go to classdojo.com. It's quite simple. If you can navigate through social media, Facebook, you know, you can, you can, um, navigate the class dojo so I already have an account with class dojo so and as you can see you can you can set up different classrooms so um, this is the screen home screen you have different classes now I had I had two different classes so I had my a.m. session and my p.m. session and you can also um, connect to other teachers classes so you know if you're in sixth grade and you get some of the eighth grade kids at a certain point you can log into the eighth grade classes, um, class dojo, and give them points or take points away. But let's go to my AM class. I had a lot of students there. So basically, you get in here and you know you put in, you fill in the the class. So you say go to edit class, and from here you can ask students. I'll add, let's just make myself a student. Let's do that. How about that? All right. I mean, you can. It gives them avatars, little monsters. You can even. Um, you can. I like this guy. There we go. I want to be that guy. Okay. So now I'm in here. We're in here. You know, you have the parents. The parents can connect. If the parents give you their emails, you can or their cell phone number for that matter. You can put that in here, and it'll connect the parents as well. Um, and you can also do the behaviors as well as share share with other teachers from the settings but um for instance let's say all right all the students come in they're on time they're ready to go at the beginning of the day they're listening for the um the announcements well i don't have anything as that says prepared but you could put something up there but check them out you know um you can assign different points to different acts um, helping others on task, um, leaving the, the team room space clean, and we had different things. I worked at a, and it was a blended school, so the curriculum was online, and the kids came four hours a day, four days a week. So we have some things that won't apply to Kaiser, but um, a lot of these things that you can use in your classroom, it, it'll add consistency. Um, let's look on the negative side here. Needs work. And so, you know, they're unprepared, they lose a point. Off task, they lose a point. Not participating. Wandering, not wandering around. Leaving trash late, you know. Um, and the way that we worked it at Nexus is if you had, if you got to the point where you had negative five points, let's re let me give myself, I'm, I've been a bad boy. I've been bad. What have I been? I've been disrespectful. Oh, oh man. So the thing is, you see when you do that, it flashes up. Now you can put this up on your projector throughout the day. You know, you don't have to keep it up all day, but you can put it up there and it keeps a tally. The kids can see for themselves, you know, where the behavior is, so forth and so such. Um, but the way we did it at Nexus is if you had negative five points, you got a referral. If you got to the point, if your behavior was that bad, you were that out of line, that you got to negative five points, you would get a referral. I mean, you could tailor it however you want to tailor it with the um, with the PBIS board, the color board that you have in your classroom and moving clips and whatnot. I don't know if you still move clips, but. Um, and I would say do it consistently between the classes so the kids know what to expect when they go into their different classrooms. Um, so let's just let me let's just say I was distracting others, being a clown. All right. Oh, man. 
Now I'm negative two points, but I can make it up. Or, as a matter of fact, how about this? You can award the whole class. Let's just say the whole class is where they need to be. You can select all. Okay, but then let's give them let's give them all points. What are they on? They're all on task. Look at them. They're all on task. I'm proud of them. They got they all get points. Okay, and it keeps a tally. Look, at Regina. Regina's helping others. Oh, that's great. So it could be the same thing with this. You know, if they um, if they get a uh, certain uh, positive points, like in, in my school, if they had um, plus five points, they got a raffle ticket, and, and the raffle ticket was um for you to enter a raffle that had for the the month's bag. We had movie bags, candy bags, technology bags. We had all types of stuff. But the kids really they really liked it. So it's really training the kids when you, when they hear that noise that that positive or that negative noise they look up um, and they don't like it you know and it's a fun way to see their reaction when they get points or they get points taken away um, and it it gamifies the the um, the behavioral process of behavior modification um, so let's check it out um, the reports now these are outdated and this is from last last school year but we can look at this is from this week I don't know where that those 30 came from. I guess that came from me playing around. Oh, that's from me giving the whole class. But let's go all time. We can look at the all time. And it actually, you know, it keeps a record, you know, of what's going on. So positive, 155 needs work, 155. So you can go to different, different students. She was a handful. And it, the parents can log in and see this. So. You know, what she got dinged for disrespect, distracting others, mostly distracting others. But she got good points for being um, on task and working hard. And she was a good student and they had the on track line. So she was able to go there. Um, poor Kenny here. Same thing here. You can see what they did all the time wandering, distracting others. And then she was on task. It also keeps track of who gives them the points. So I would this was my classroom, but the other teachers had access to it. So if she wasn't in her class <laughs> where she was supposed to be, they dinged her, um, distracting others from the other teacher. So yeah, this gives you um, keeps you a, gives you a history of the student's behavior if you're consistent. They also have spreadsheets. That it'll download for you. Let's open it. Let's just open it on Internet Explorer. No. Well, that didn't work. That's you don't want to open it on Microsoft Word. That's for sure. It's a CSV, so you will want to use um, Excel, of course. No, I didn't. That's not pretty. The dates are all off and whatnot, so scratch that. You can figure that part out. So yeah, basically that's Class Dojo. Um, if you have any questions, you let me know. I'm here. You know where to find me, room 135. Uh, it's fun. Like I said, I recommend it. Uh, I would play around with it, especially like with the new year coming up. Once the kids come back from break, it'll be a something to set them off on a new a new page, get them on something new, and uh, you know see how it works. But I can tell you from my experience, it worked great for my students. It's just it's just a matter of being consistent with it. But um. Like I said, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. All right.